issues I have with these classic style saddlebags is getting things organized in them. Uh, one time I was pulling all of my stuff out and I had my gun wrapped up and it fell on the ground because uh, stuff's laying everywhere. Here's a flashlight, here's a battery starter, and I'm having to dig it around to find what I want. And this just wasn't very satisfying to me. Uh, having to go through here, I feel like I'm going through a toy box. Okay. My name is Glenn, and I've developed this uh, saddlebag door kit for Indian saddlebag. These are the classic style saddlebags that have the round tops. Well, inside these saddlebags is like a little, you want to get a picture of this, there's like a little opening in each one of these saddlebags. So what I've done is I've made this kit out of high tensile strength plastic. <clears throat> the one here with the, the dot on it, this is for the right side of the saddlebag. This will go in here. Basically, this over here, what, we're, what we have here is we have a door that goes on here. And we have a door that goes on this side here. Now this side, I've already installed the keepers. You can slide the door right in. It'll protect whatever you put in there. You can put a gun in there, a first aid kit, toolbox, any kind of stuff, and it'll keep it from getting mixed up with your regular gear. So what I want to do right now, show you what's in the kit, you get four of these pieces of styrene plastic that have tape on the back. The tape's pretty hard to get off. You have to use a knife or a pin to get it going. I've already uh, made a couple of them loose here so I can get to them because I want to show you how to install this. Also with the kit is you get some sand, little piece of sandpaper and some alcohol. So first thing I'm going to do and install this uh, this one here uh, in this side. So this is for the right side saddlebag. Anytime you have a dot on here, it means it's for the right. And the rough side of this always goes out. So we're going to lay that in there like that. We're going to take the little piece of sandpaper. We're going to fold it like this. While we're holding that, we're going to go up and down here a little bit and sand this piece of plastic area right here. Because this is where the holder is going to go that has the 3M molding tape on. So while holding that, we're going to go over next to this one over here. This one's a little harder to get into. And we're just going to rough that up a little bit like this. Matter of fact, you don't even have to have this in here. You can just take, take it out like that and rough this up a little bit. It doesn't take a whole lot of roughing for this type uh, molding to stick. So once you've done that, you'll open this alcohol swab. And we want to wipe that nice and clean. So we wipe the part that we just sanded. And this dry fairly quickly. So we have the sticky side of this support brace right here. This is the sticky side. We want this to stick square against this edge of the saddlebag. So it's important that we keep it at a little angle like this as we move it over. And that way we can get it onto the saddlebag like that. You can see it's square onto the saddlebag and it's all the way down to the bottom right there. Now we'll take the next one and pull the tape off. The same deal here. You're gonna, the sticky side is there. The sticky side faces the part that we sanded over here. And you're going to hold your finger down the bottom there because that's how long this thing is. And you're just going to push it, in this case, straight on there, flat on there. Give it a nice push all the way down on this because this molding, this type of... Uh, 3M molding tape sometimes takes a while to set up. So now you have that in there, and that's what's going to hold your door in. So your door comes out, the door just slides right in there. Very secure, very strong. Now that we have this door mounted on the right side of the saddlebag, you can see that it holds uh, quite a few things. Here we have a uh, first aid kit, which could actually be a tool kit. We've got a pair of binoculars in there. We've got a nice flashlight, 
that we've got in there. We've got uh, the little tool that comes to get your uh, oil dipstick out. So there's also, this is where the plug-in is for your phone charging. So in this case, I don't use that or I use it very seldom. If I was going to use it, I could simply take this and put it on the side while my stuff's in here, while my phone's charging, while I'm writing. Or you could notch this out right here. If you wanted to notch this out with a drill bit, then your wire would just go underneath that hole right there when you had it in there. So problem solved. Okay, for the left side of the motorcycle saddlebag, I like to put one of these battery chargers in here in case my battery goes dead on my bike. And these are quite large as you can see, but there's plenty of room in this pocket right here for this thing to fit perfectly. You just push on it a little bit and slide the door right in there. These doors are a great little place to put things that you don't want laying out for everyone else to see. In this case, this is an XTS 45. I want to demonstrate that you still have a lot of room left in these bags even when these bagger doors are slid in place here we have a pair of gauntlet gloves here we have a full-size rain jacket here we have a full-size motorcycle jacket and we still have all of us all this stuff in here we still have that and we have a binoculars light so there's even a few more products will fit in here so you still have plenty of room to put all of your gear but you've got it separated from all this stuff so it doesn't look like some kid's toy box you have all your stuff put as you can see on the left side of the bike the saddlebags still hold plenty of stuff here we've got our helmet got extra gloves got our leather riding vest portion here we've got our battery charger which is a lot of stuff in here we've got the little toolkit that the uh, Indian gives you when you buy the bike and we got room for a couple other things in there depending on how you pack your saddlebags you can still get to the items that are in here this is my battery charger this is the little toolkit this is a flashlight and the little oil thing so you don't necessarily have to take everything out of here in order to access these doors if you're interested in purchasing these please look at the video description